we are in Unity, we have on the one hand a script called A, which has a variable defined inside, for example an integer, and on the other hand we have a V script from which we are interested in reading the state of the variable that is in the A script. Let's see how we can solve this in Unity. To start, I'm going to create the A and B scripts and I'm going to assign them to any game objects in the hierarchy. So when we press play, these scripts are going to be executed. Let's open both scripts in Visual Studio. In A, I'm going to define the integer variable. Let's call it var A. And in order to access it from another script, different from this one, we must declare it as public. Now go to Unity. Choose the game object that has the A script assigned and in the inspector we're going to create some value to this variable, for example 6. So later, when we read that variable, we'll be sure that it's the right variable. Now go to the V script, which is the one that interests us, because here is where we want to do the reading of the variable defined in the A script. Here in V, we have to define a reference for an A type object, that is, a reference to an instance of the A class. For example, this instance can be the one assigned to this game object in the hierarchy. This is like when we define an integer variable, only instead of an integer variable, it will be an object of the class that defines the A script. So, to declare it, we write A in uppercase and then give it any name, for example, A in lowercase. Using the same name but one with uppercase and the other with lowercase usually causes confusion. The first word is the class name, in our case, a in uppercase. The second word is the way you name that reference to use it in the script. It could be any name, but if you use the same name of the class but with lowercase, you'll find it easier to remember what kind of data it is. I would say that you should think of it as a variable, only that instead of being an integer or a float variable, it's a variable called in the same way as your script is called, and since it's a variable, we have to initialize it, give it some value. This value is going to be the reference of the A component that is assigned to the game object in the hierarchy. We have to find that reference and assign it to this field called lowercase a. Now I'm going to show you two ways to find this reference. There are many more ways, but I consider these two ways the easier to implement. The first is to define the reference of this object as public with public visibility. This will make the field appear in the inspector. If we select the game object that has the vscript assigned in inspector, we see that now appears a field. And we can drop an A type object to this field. So what we do is take the game object that has the A script assigned, drag it to this field, and Unity will automatically extract the reference of the A type object. This is the simplest way to find a reference, but you may not always be able to do this, so let's look at the second way to find references. Now we're gonna find the reference using a programming instruction. In the start method of the vscript, we're gonna write the instruction a in lowercase equals find object of type and between the greater than and less than signs, we're gonna enter the name of the class, that is, the class of the object we're gonna find, in this case, uppercase a. Then open and close parentheses, because this is a method that will be executed, and end with the semicolon. This instruction will check all the game objects in the hierarchy until it finds one that has the uppercase A component assigned. When it finds it, it takes that reference and assigns it to the lowercase a field. This second way is only going to be useful if there is only one instance of the A component in the hierarchy, because if there are more than one, this instruction is going to return the first one it finds, and maybe we were interested in finding another component. These are the two ways that we are going to see to find the reference of an object. The important thing is that the lowercase a field is initialized, because otherwise it will have a null value and whenever we want to execute some action it will give us a null pointer exception error, because basically the object to which we are trying to execute that action does not exist. Once we find the reference, we will be able to read the variable that is defined in the a script. We do this by using the name we gave to this object, lowercase a, then the dot operator, and then the name of that variable inside the a script. For example, I'm gonna write the instruction debug.log parenthesis lowercase a dot var a. Go to Unity, press play, and in the console we see that the number 6 is print, which is the value that has the variable from the a script, and this value was read from the b script. All of this was just a generic example, now you have to analyze this, understand how it works, and then apply it to your own scripts. 
this is the end of the video thanks for watching i invite you to subscribe to my channel and in the description i will leave you links where you can find more related content have a nice day